Okay, this is the Frankenstein Briggs. This will be its first real run in many, many years. Like I mentioned before, the engine has had the valves um, grinded. The uh, valves have been readjusted. This carburetor is just a temporary carburetor. It leaks gas, but it does function. That's why the gas is shut off. As soon as I turn the gas on, I'll let it fill up the bowl. And then I gotta shut the gas back off. Yeah, it's dripping a bit, so. But we'll fire it up. I've already had it running for the short, but this will be the uh, official. I'm gonna put my knee on the dipstick to hold that in place. Choke is on, I think. Let's try it. <laughs> There we go. This engine was destined for the scrapyard, but hey, I saved it, which is good for this machine here. But as you can see, there's uh, some definite clearance issues. I don't know if it will fit with the uh, top cover I do plan on using on this engine, or I might have to go in a completely different direction with the top or figure out something. Um, I would like to use the more modern uh, top cover since it will match this carburetor, or sorry, this intake, not this carburetor. This carburetor is not staying on here. It'll match the intake. The only real thing I'll have to modify is, like I said before, is the dipstick, which uh, looks like I can order some parts. Um, I need the grommet and I need the PCV valve, or the PCV tube to make it work. I'm pretty sure I can make this engine work in here. Uh, I do want to put the exhaust on and possibly run this for a little bit longer, but I'll do that off camera. But I just wanted to show that this engine will actually run. I believe I did have video of this engine. It was in a Craftsman tractor many years ago. So if I would have pulled the head apart and ground the valves, I probably could have saved this engine way back then. But I wasn't really thinking I had another engine to go in the machine, so I just changed the engine. So I'm happy, it runs. Am I still gonna get the other machine? Most definitely. And, uh, <coughs> sorry about that. I'll probably put the brand new engine in here and this engine in the other machine or I'll figure something out. Uh, I haven't yet decided. Uh, the head gasket still needs to be replaced on this. This has a uh, old head gasket on it that actually came out of that seized engine that was in the Murray. That's where a lot of these parts came from. This is the carburetor that was in that machine. As you can see, it's uh, not the nicest looking. It's pretty corroded. So that's what water for at least three to five years does to a carburetor. So, Anyways, there we go. So I'll talk to them later. Please keep it redneck like always. And uh, please subscribe and comment.